Right, folks, good morning, as you can probably see from my slitty eyes. Can you say slitty eyes? Yeah. Well, they are anyway, the slitty. They look like fucking letterboxes. Off sleep. We have just got up. June. You have. Well, you've, how long have you been up? Half five. Half five? Yeah, Half five on a Sunday. Now. Ten to seven. Uh, I got up about 20 to seven, I think. Um, Sunday morning, a cup of tea. Does anybody else out there, right, as soon as you've had a cup of tea, you need a shit. <laughs> oh God, you haven't had a drink Oh that, God, my mum, my mother, she used to, cup of tea, and that were it. 10 minutes later, she had to go and do a big turd. Sorry mother, rest your soul, or wherever you are. Find me down there, have me, that's a sin. Well, it was a sin. Yes. Married one month and I came along about fucking seven months later. Um, pre premature birth. <laughs> yeah, you were seriously underweight. Good in the 60s. Free love and all that. Back of a minivan. Anyway, sorry. No, you don't need to hear that. Ain't that right, Dad, if you're watching? Um, right. Um, yesterday, I did a rant on a Tesco bag. Uh, and I mentioned that I was cooking some... Oh, me and June, or basically June does... Uh, cooks our dog food now. We put um, biscuits in it, don't we? Scott will be smelling the biscuits. Um, no, we won't be though. It'll be no. No. What we do is we put a few biscuits in, and along with what we cook now, don't we? Yeah, because basically what we've done, we've got a load of dry dog food that needs yeah. using up. So we're actually using that up. But once that's used up, there'll be, be entirely this. Entirely this. Um, June's done the research because she's the research department um, and um, what we give them you can give them all kinds of stuff can't you don't yeah, give them onion you can, actually, you can actually google dog food recipes yeah and uh, yeah don't give them onion because onion will kill them yeah, no, along with quality make, make street make sure what you're giving them is, is proper stuff so. so on here on this one what we have got is We've got some carrots. They're carrots. a bit past the best. Yeah, a bit past the best, but they're only for the dogs. Spinach. Brown rice. You can also use rolled oats. Sweet potato. You can use butternut squash. A few frozen cheapo green beans. And this time we're using actually cooked chicken slices. Normally we would use raw turkey or chicken mince. But we're just trying something different. We've actually gave them um, Ox's heart. Uh, but it stunk the house. stunk. It fucking stunk the house out. So I said never again. No, and that was uh, that was the fault of a, a butcher at um, Costi Cutters. There you go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep all this veg and then we'll show you how we cook it as well. So, um, look, the dogs are here, they're waiting They know, for what's, it. Happening. They know what's happening. Um, it, they, they absolutely love it. So, if you want to get away from the chappy and the pedigree chum and all that, and you want to do- dry food. Yeah, the dry food, the stuff that, and I think it all sticks around the teeth, don't it? The yeah. tinned meat, and it's not the best for them. And I know people do clean the dog's teeth and stuff and give them the chews and that, but it's not that good. Our lurcher, he had a bit of a trouble with a tooth. Yeah, he's got, he's got teeth like tombstones now. Yeah, he looks like Stonehenge when he smiles. He's, he's got this yeah. one, got one, this one. We do clean the dog's teeth, but it seems to that it just sticks to the teeth. So I anyway. Think, I think lurchers are a bit prone to Yeah, that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this veg. You know how to prep veg, and I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm just about to prep the veg, and I've not peeled the carrot. And like, June is saying that the twoodle wants some peeled. Unfucking believable. No, it's not that. They're just not past the best, so I won't set the skins off. If they were nice, fresh ones, then. You'd still peel them. Wouldn't you? You get chopping. It looks a bit bleak out there, June, doesn't it? Don't look very nice. I better put my glasses on, I'm going to chop my fucking finger off. Did you know you can bite your own finger off as easily as you can bite a carrot? Really? Mm. There's a today's interesting fact. June's gonna bite my finger off. I'm not. As long as you don't bite anything else off June, we're happy. Anyway, I'll get this back to you. 
Right, folks, we've had a major disaster. You're laughing, really, aren't you? You're just driving us. Um, because it's so early in the morning, I've chopped the end of my finger off. <laughs> There it is, look. It's not as bleeding as bad as it was. <laughs> yes, a serious war wound. Oh no, you've said war, shouldn't joke. <laughs> you ready? It's all right, stop bleeding now. You ready with the plaster? I'm ready with the plaster. But... Right. Come on, Florence. Oh, God. I hate the sight of blood and all. Oh, you think, yeah, fucking Doc Martin. Oh. <laughs> now, that'll do for now. Oh, fucking hell. Hold on, I'll get you another plaster. Uh, yeah, so what it is, folks, I've got this knife, and it's my favourite knife, and it's blunt as fuck, it's useless. And um, I slipped. I've been on about throwing it out. No sodding plasters. So what knife am I going to use now then, June? Just leave it and I'll do it. Um, leave the knife work to a grown-up people. Uh, Give me that one. Right, this is all right no. for a minute. All oh, right, you're putting some pressure on it. You're putting some torque on it. Uh, must remember to take it off and watch your finger will drop on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so this is a warning, a public warning. Um, just let a grown up use the knife because it's just not smart, clever, or anything. I knew it was going to fucking happen though. Oh, see, I was slicing these. I was trying to slice them nice and thin. You don't need to slice them thin. Oh, for the carrots. Come out of the way. <sighs> right, I'll turn this off. Right, folks, Jim's not happy with me. <laughs> You've got blood in your dog's food. Blood in a dog, well it ain't really. Yeah, it's blood in the sink. There's a song there, somewhere. In the lover. June's getting serious now, she's got a penny on. No, it's only because I'm all bloody dressed because it's this early in the morning. You and your right. YouTube. Yeah, I know. I tell you what folks, if you're ever thinking of doing a YouTube channel, don't, because it's a fucking toxic place, especially if you're married. Right, um, okay. So, what's going in here are Carrots. Two, two, two medium sized carrots, a large sweet potato, a cup of brown rice. Cup of brown rice. I've rinsed that. Rinse the rice because it takes the starch away, doesn't it? Yeah, put that in there. Yeah. And then what we've also, what I'd normally do is I'd put the raw chicken mince or turkey mince in there. But David, for some reason, has bought cooked chicken slices. I bought that. I just. So the thing that is, doesn't right, want to go in now, so what I'll do is I'll stir that in after the rest of it's cooked, because it's cooked, I'll thaw that out and just stir it in afterwards. The thing is... And also, the vegetables, any green vegetables, I'll put them in near the end of cooking, because obviously they, these don't need a lot of cooking, the greens. But, um, we are cooking ours in a slow cooker, you can do it in a pan on the top of the hob, or you can put it in a casserole dish in the oven. And then what I'm going to add to that is about a cup and a half of water because that really soaks up the water yeah, with the rice. Yeah, that rice, in. it really does. It, it, so, but what I was going to say about the um, the meat is that I've got that because the meat that we have used in the past has, it's not stunk, has it? But it's... No, oh, the, the, the heart's stunk. The heart it? stunk. But we... We only use human grade stuff anyway. Yeah, we, only, yeah, we don't uh, mess about using other stuff. So, um, what are you putting in June? Cup and half? Well, I, I sort of guess it. Um, I, I do just enough to cover the veg and the rice and then just keep an eye on it and add a bit of boiling water when I need to. So I'll put that in the slow cooker on high for about six hours or you could do it on low overnight. Yeah, that's a good thing, because like June has actually, in the past, she's, um, you've, we've cooked, you, you've got it all ready, ain't you, and then What's stuck it, it in at night, yeah. so yeah. there's Twoodle, he knows what it is, he absolutely loves it, um, don't you mate? Yes, I very yeah, love it. And, and the dogs do smaller poos, yeah. fewer poos, and drink less as well. And they don't stink so much. You would think with the vegetable in it, the dogs 
<laughs> shit would stink. And would they they're not 40, are they? They're not 40. Well, Jack, uh, he, he did let one go last night, didn't he? Yeah, but he's allowed one trump. Well, he's allowed one trump, but it did actually <laughs> sound like Richard Branson's <laughs> balloon going down. It sounded like zip. It did. It was massive. Um, right, so we'll stick that on there. Um, oh, we'll come back when we have the rest of it. <laughs> coming through. Right, get you in a bit. Oh, the toast. Um, right, uh, we're back, folks. It's uh, a quarter to eleven. Well, we're um, about halfway through cooking this now. Um, I've just chucked some frozen, cheap frozen French beans in there. It's looking a little bit dry now, so I'm going to just stick a bit of boiling water in. Not too much because it won't absorb too much more now, but we need a bit of steam to cook the veg. And that is pretty much in it. I'll, I'll chuck the cooked meat in it at the end. Um, uh, a bit of spinach and all we're chucking there. And stirring there, right? a bit of spinach, yeah, about half a bag of spinach. So beans are good for dogs? Yeah, you just got to be careful which veggies you give them. Um, just Google it, see which yeah. are healthy Break them up into bite-sized pieces as well. Don't go chucking a fucking Yeah, because I chucked them in whole yeah. the other day and the dog swallowed them and spewed them up. Yeah, he couldn't uh, digest them quick enough. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, it's quite healthy for them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. You know, I mean, like I say, I prefer to use the mince in it and cook it in there. But I like to see. I buy the I buy this, and then you do what you do, don't you, Jim? Yeah, just put, we make it work, whatever we yeah, want. Yeah, um, make it expensive for yourself. Yeah, don't make it expensive for yourself. Um, when all said and done, it's a dog's dinner. Um, but vegetables are fairly cheap. If you buy the frozen bags of um, stuff, it's yeah, cheap. from Audi or something. From Audi, yeah. Don't go fucking Waitrose or bloody M&S. Unless you're posh and you've got a, like, a posh dog. Um, but it's just an easy way. And you actually know what your dog is eating as well, don't you? Because when you get dog food, you don't know yeah. what it's fucking eating. I mean, we, Could be camel. Had, we've always had a quality dry food, haven't we? Yeah. Them? But we were noticing that to keep the lurcher's weight on, we were having to give him vast amounts. And the poor dog just couldn't eat enough to yeah. keep his weight on really and he's the amount of poos he was doing yeah was it's just unbelievable like, like having, having, baby elephant well, having an elephant shitting in your garden uh so yeah look it up folks make your own recipe and we'll be back and i'll we'll show you the end right folks major disaster i had supposed to have left the chicken out of the freezer but i didn't so june's not talking to me june no see you are talking to me so what we're doing now is the rest of it's all cooked as you can see all the rice has absorbed the water so i'm going to chuck about half a bag of spinach in there and you just stir that in ouch that is hot um just to wilt it really wilt it there was a film called wilt weren't there yeah now he had a dog called dasher yeah there you go my golden retriever was called dasher they were a cock and all. Oh, it was lovely. A bit more, a bit more of that. And that's it really. And then we've just got to stir the uh, thawed out chicken yeah. in there. I top You see, the idea is, is that I should have bought mint. fresh you should have bought mint, mint. But obviously I fucking didn't. So I'm a twat. I have these bright ideas and then I just screw them up. Just don't do anything without running it past me. Yeah, first. don't do anything. Yeah, don't do anything. Just stand there. In there my you pants. Go. Leave that there and we'll come back when the chicken has thawed. Is that gonna be okay, Chicken? Will yeah, that won't just... dry out, will it? That'll no, no, just no, no, will to the the leaves. Yeah. Just oh. So we're gonna let this chicken defrost, then put it in and I'll be back in a Right folks, so you have seen June basically prepare the dog's food. Uh, the dog next door, they can smell it. They want it. Um, so what it is now, it's all done. Uh, just going to add the meat. So as June says, get down Twoodle. As June says, it's probably best to add fresh meat, uh, but this'll do. This'll do. This chicken is foul. So just get a bit of a mix, folks. I mean, really, you could give this to the kids. Bit of tomato sauce. 
they won't know any difference. Just tell them it's some new fandle dandle thing that they've seen on Tickety Talk. And they'll eat it. Because that's what happens nowadays. Kids are easily led, they're easily, easily influenced into doing things. You get some bloody TikToker influencer doing this and eating it, they'll fucking eat it. Uh, so what it is then, folks. Stop smelling me. Dogs are here. They know. Uh, and that is it. So all we do now is put it on the used Chinese takeaway container. Give it a shake. And that's it. And there you have it folks, one natural dog food dinner. Um, probably better than Chappie and Pedigree Chum and all those other things. You know what's in it. Dogs love it, absolutely love it. Um, I would say, give it a go. There's no harm in trying it. If your dogs don't like it, all right, you've wasted a bit of rice, chicken and whatever. Um, but they'll love it, they'll love it that's what happens yeah so all right folks um yeah that's it leave your comments down below if your dog uh, eats it or leaves it um just interesting to know all right folks laters